Hi everyone, I'm Lorenz and in this video I'm going to talk about all sprint car games for the Sony PS2. Sprint cars is a niche of NASCAR. You race in oval tracks, but this time you race on dirt tracks instead of asphalt. And the cars are like modified high-powered go-karts. In the career modes of the games, you start as a nobody and by racing you get to the top. You start off with $5000 and by winning races you get more money to repair your vehicle, buy new vehicle parts or get new drivers. You are the manager in the game. You can switch to a driver that wants more money or to a driver that wants less money if he races for you. You can also race yourself, which makes switching to a new driver only a personal preference. Or you can put the driver's AI to win races for you and you just watch the gameplay itself. But since you are playing a game, I guess you want to race yourself. But tastes differ. But even if for hardcore fans, the game might be just okay, for anyone else the game isn't exciting. Upgrade parts aren't that many and vehicle variety isn't that great for a non-fan. Also tracks are in an oval and there are only 12 of them. On the controls department, the game is slippery and wonky and you need some time to get used to the controls, but I guess that the controls try to be closer to the real deal, I don't know, I don't follow this board. But I guess it tries to be more realistic as I guess that it's difficult to fling yourself across an oval with a big engine in a tiny car. Also the difficulty jumps from easy to very hard way too fast. The game is unpredictable. One time you can breeze through races and you can see opponents crash and make mistakes, while other times opponents drive perfect laps. Also the Wikipedia article praises that you have a limited amount of tear-offs in the game. Tear-offs are the moments where the driver wipes the dirt off his helmet and you have a limited number of wipes. I don't like the feature, but tastes differ. And I have to praise the customization menus. They are very detailed and you can fine tune your vehicles in complex ways. Ok, now let's get into the differences between the games. The first one, World of Outlaws, is very basic, at least compared to the other ones, except for the last one. You can put the console to play itself in this game, it has only sprint cars and you get only championships and time trials. Sprint Car Challenge returns to basicness, but this time it's ridiculous. The game even lacks a career mode. You don't get a career. You get only races and challenges, which are races again. You don't get anything else but races and challenges. Ok, I can't lie, you get split screen multiplayer, which would have been a cool new addition if this iteration didn't cut almost all of the franchise's content. Also from all of the different car types you could race with, you can race only with 3 different types. This game is very disappointing. In Road to Knoxville, you can spot a big improvement. You get more variety in vehicles, you can race in police cars, in golf carts, trucks and more vehicle types and from this game on, you have the option to let the PS2 play itself. Sprint Cars 2 Showdown at Eldora brings two new modes. Challenges, where you get exactly what the mode sounds like, you get time trials or challenges like avoiding collision and the other mode is the tractor pull mode. I didn't find it fun nor engaging but I do admit that it's original and some more content is always welcome. Also, if you were to play the games, play them on an original console. So play them only on a PS2. For some reason, on an emulator, gravity doesn't have the same authority as on PS2 or as in real life and your car will float or it will fall through the map or bump on non-existent bumps that make your car fly and crash so don't try the games on an emulator you can progress in the games play them only on OG consoles on the real thing ok so as a conclusion if you are into this sport I recommend you to play Sprint Cars 2 Showdown at Eldora, it has the most content, 
it's the most fun and even if it wouldn't appeal to a non-fan, for the fans it's a pretty good game. I mean you get what you would expect from the sport and more, which is awesome. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please see the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, and if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.